Now here is a voice chip that is uh, basically sitting inside this uh, Dremel vise with the rubber clamps and I have used solder to build up the, um, the pins just a little bit and that makes for a, a better interface. If we go over here now. Remember when you're dealing with these, you, by putting in the sockets, you lose your keying, so you, you can't really tell which one, which end is which. Remember this, it's uh, very important that you not put these chips in the wrong way. Um, it helps if you look at the bottom of the board for reference or whatever. Now, as you can see, this, this guy is now resisting a little bit to go in. It's probably because of some unevenness on behalf of my... Uh, my pins. Oh no, I was actually not come on, putting it in right. Okay, all right. There we go. There we are. There we go. Always tricky to do an operation like that with the camera rolling. Okay, so that kind of fought back a bit. So that means that there's a bit of resistance going on. Uh, the the pins are sort of forcing apart in order to accept. Um, you know, the socket pins are forcing apart to accept the pins from the chip. And I think that is a better thing than just having them in sort of loose. Uh, they're less inclined to fall out, and at the same time, you're more guaranteed a co proper electrical connection. Now, once I get testing these chips, we're going to probably find out, likely find out that there may be an issue with intermittent connections. I hope not, um, because this would be a very great way to handle things. Now, perhaps a higher quality socket might be the answer, or maybe I just need to rethink the whole thing. But uh, being able to take these out uh, and interchange them is kind of important to what I do because I'm going to be um, bringing in other chips and other boards and wanting to test them and so on and so forth. All right.